we are honored to host one of the Euro HPC world-class supercomputers. A group of countries participates in this unique joint endeavor called LUMI to acquire, build, and deploy a world-class computing and data infrastructure. This supercomputer will be placed in CSE's data center in Kajaani, Finland. When the operations start in mid-2021, it will be one of the most competitive supercomputers in the world and a leadership class platform for artificial intelligence providing HPC and AI resources for European researchers in academia and industry. The Lumi supercomputer's peak performance is an astounding 553 petaflop per second, which equals the computing power of 1.5 million modern laptops. This many laptops would create a 23.25 kilometer high tower. Its storage system consists of three layers, Lumi F, a 7 petabyte flash technology based storage tier, 80 petabyte Lusta parallel file system, and Lumi O, a 30 petabyte object storage service. The Lumi system is an HPE Cray machine supplied by Hewlett Packard Enterprise, HPE. 10 European countries have invested together, together with EU, uh, to, a, to a single environment, joint systems, and placed it in, in the one, one of the most eco-efficient data centers in the world, in Kajaani, in Finland. So this is not only uh, the way we provide cycles, but this is on also the new way we are doing a collaboration in Europe. Now a bunch of countries have gone so far as to accept that it's not anymore about owning the supercomputers, but it's about using them. We believe this is a very strong consortium with some excellent partners, and it will open up new opportunities in Norway, both in science, research, and for industry. To be a member of the LUMI consortium is very important for, for the Czech Republic. We are also building EuroHPC smaller petascale system and we see potential to scale up applications of our users through a large modern system like LUMI is very important. In terms of the future, what we need to do, at least from our perspective, is to continue to focus uh, on our uh, efforts to converge HPC, big data and cloud technologies to provide uh, forward-looking um, platforms for domain scientists that really meet their needs and, and enable them to produce the ex excellence that, that we come to expect from researchers in Europe. Reducing CO2 emissions is a globally critical target to which the location of the Euro HPC machines have a considerable impact as supercomputers consume plenty of electricity. CSE's data center in Kayani has an abundant supply of low price and environmentally friendly hydroelectric power. The location's benefits include warm water cooling, which enables waste heat to be utilized in Kayani's district heating network, further reducing costs and CO2 footprint. The CSE Kayani data center is highly scalable for large hardware installations and extensions or other potential infrastructure, making it ideal for building a sustainable data center ecosystem. The Lumi Supercomputing and Data Infrastructure at CSC's data center in Kayani will help position Europe as one of the world leaders in supercomputing. The computing power of this size is required in leading edge research in a wide range of data and computing intensive fields, as the importance of various data driven methods in research, administration, and industry are constantly increasing. Lumi will also have a channel for urgent computing. This type of allocation will allow us to grant some of LUMI's resources on an ad hoc basis for time in mission critical simulations. With the new infrastructure, European researchers can access world-class computing resources, which have a direct positive impact on European research in nearly all scientific disciplines. The state-of-the-art computing resources will also lay grounds for carrying out research in areas that have previously been out of reach increasing the possibilities for scientific breakthroughs with immense societal impact, such as understanding climate change. To summarize it all, the Lumi supercomputing infrastructure will start to operate in mid-2021, benefiting European innovation and research.